<laughs> What's funny? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Where are you dressing up? Where are you going to? <laughs> What's going on? Be you. I'm done with my assignments and it's time for me to go. Assignment? Babe, we both agreed that we'll spend the night here. In this hotel. This is just... <laughs> this is just 8.20. Hope you enjoyed having sex with me. That was my major target. I'm done for now. Babe, what are you talking about? I'm lost. What's target? Baby, what's going on? Boy, it was nice to meet you. You met that girl in that hotel. You have not recovered. Yes. Eh? Yes. In fact, as we speak, your life is in total shambles. Yes, Marco Kashi Kaji Kaliaba. I can see in the spirit that you used to touch money. Yes. Eh? Yes, man of God. You yes. used to count in millions. Yes. Eh? You had more than five shops, yes. containers everywhere. But as we speak, you cannot boast of five thousand naira. Yes. Yes, man of God, yes, I can't. Just because of one night. After that night you met that girl, you noticed that things started going down. Yes. Your business crashed. Yes, man of God. Yes, man hmm? of God. Yes. It started from your business. Like play, like play. People that do supply you goods on credit, they stopped. Yes. Eh? Yes, yes, man of God. <laughs> your containers started having problems, started having issues. You started having problem with custom. Eh? Your yes. goods were hanged in several places yes, and you were not able to recover them. Yes, and you started paying a lot of debts. That's true, that's eh? true, man of God. That's true. It got to a point that you could not continue and you started selling your shops. I sold my shop. Mm. Yes. Balia Kazi Yelaba. You sold all your shops and you decided to start another business. But you cannot give account on how the money you sold from the shop disappeared. Yes, that's true, man of God. Just because of one night. Something was orchestrated. Mm. Something was in operation in your life. That was why all of those things were flying away like thin air. Let me tell you this. <laughs> they saw your star. They saw your destiny. They saw what God was going to use you to do in your community. And they planned carefully to stop you. That girl you met in that hotel that night has been prepared right from the time she was small. They started training her. They started grooming her because of you. And that night, you helped her to seal her deal. She achieved her goal. She completed her assignments. That was why she was happy when she left the hotel. But they were able to get you because you didn't have any spiritual backbone. You were just there. You were neither serving God nor serving the devil. You forgot that this life is more spiritual than physical. You cannot succeed in this life without having a spiritual backbone. It is either you are serving the devil so strongly or you are serving God so strongly. But you are just there hanging on the air and they blew you like a wind. Man of God, Man of God, please. I need help. I need help. What am I going to do, Man of God? Anyways, there is hope. There's hope? Yes. In Christ Jesus, there is hope. Okay, okay. You can actually recover all you've lost. I can recover everything. Yes. Okay. Okay, man of God. How can I recover everything? If you can accept Jesus today in your life, if you can embrace God, if you can come to Jesus, He's going to change your life. Man of God, I will accept Him. I will accept Him. No, 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 no. I'm ready. I'm ready, man of God. I want to accept God. Because the Bible says, if every man is in Christ, it's a new creation. All things are passed away. All things are made new. Are you ready to accept it? I'm ready, I'm ready. That's a very good decision. 
Now hold my head. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I give my life to you today. I give my life to you today.